We're in Tapatari West and this is a slum area. We felt this side was a good one because right next to the river and also because these people here are more vulnerable because their shelters are so makeshift, like there's nothing concrete. Anything like any rodents or anything that's out there can go directly into their house. There's like less protection for them. It's just a mix of animals as well because people are like keeping chickens, they're keeping goats, they're keeping pigs, they're dogs. So it's just a mix of everything right next to this river. There was a lot of background work obviously to go and check out the potential of the sites and then depending on whichever had the highest interaction, this interface between this wildlife and humans and then we chose it according to that. Every site has transects that we've set up. We have one transect that runs along the river, we have another one that goes right through the houses, one that's running next to the houses and then another on the other side on the wall. Right now what they've been doing is they've been going to houses and putting traps, one trap inside the house and one trap outside the house to see what rodents they catch. So they do that the evening before and then they come early in the morning and they collect these traps from the locals. If they've caught a rodent, they put in a cloth bag to wait for processing. We wanted to have the processing done in the field itself rather than taking all the samples to the lab. Because we're surrounded by so many people and animals, we needed a bit of privacy as well as security as well as just to not disturb the people around. So that's why we've set up this really bright colored tent. The kids are a little bit of troublesome because they come and they really want to look what's inside. Everybody in there is wearing proper PPE and making sure they're protecting themselves. So when these little kids are like peeping into the tent, they're putting themselves in harm's risk, so we always have to have one person kind of chasing them off. The people are really curious to know what's going on. Once we explain to them, they understand and they're, they're, they're quite happy. We tell them that we're going to come back and tell them what the results are. In fact, because we're trapping rodents and rodents, you know, they're vermin, they eat all their food, so they're quite happy to take the traps and put it into their houses. I really wanted to make a difference and I've always been interested in wildlife. It's so much better to be out doing this work. The kind of places you go, the things you are able to do, it's more exciting, it's more dynamic. There's more of a, I guess, a satisfaction for me in that way.